Alexa, stop. Oh, hi guys. Happy Saturday. Thank you for joining me for uh, an awesome dance party and also Lego building um, because that's what engineers are good at is putting together Legos. Legos are my favorite toy hands down because they allow you to be super ultra creative and build anything you want. And then when your little brother or little sister destroys what you build, you can rebuild it or build something completely different. It's magic. Today we're going to build, start by building a heart because we all have hearts and we could use as much heart in our lives as possible today. Um, ideally, your heart might be red. I um, am dealing with Lego sets that are mostly Star Wars and ninjas, and so I have a lot of gray and black and white. Doesn't matter, you build it however you want it. Just watch the steps and see if you can recreate it. Um, these are the pieces you're gonna need right in front of you. I tried to lay them out clearly. Um, don't worry if you don't have exactly these pieces. Don't forget your, your numbers. If you need a piece that's four and you don't have a four, but you have two twos, that's four. Um, you're gonna, you'll get there. But so what are we gonna do first? First, we're gonna build the base of the heart. Something for it to stand on. There's our base. If you have a bigger piece, no problem. If you have a little smaller piece, okay. Maybe you have one as big as this piece of paper, great. This little square is gonna go right in the middle. You're gonna start with two of these guys. These are gonna start to make the bottom of your heart curve. Then you're gonna take one of your squares in the middle to secure it. Then two more of these guys, that's why we have so many, because these are what make the heart curve like this. Oh, it looks like a triangle upside down right now. Yeah, that's how it starts, very good. Uh, now we want a four piece to lock that piece in. I happen to have one, like I said, little uh, Japanese characters because it's from a ninja set. Pretty cool. Yours might be red, yellow, blue, purple. Uh, two more of these. Milo, calm down. Rough day, huh? All right. So far, so good. Now we need to um, take two of your threes. Or here, if you have one six that looks like that, that works just as well, right? Three plus three is six. Yep. Yep, all day. All right. Cool. Two more of these. Okay. Can you guys guess what I'm gonna take next? These long ones here, also from a What's it called? Ninjago? Ninjago. Ninjago. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is it bad that I know that? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I appreciate you helping out. These guys. Okay. This is working. Um, now, I'm pretty sure these go like that. Now we're going to start to dip it in because that's how hearts um, like this. And then this is definitely the center. I'm doing two at a time so I can go fast, but you guys might just do one at a time. Oh man, we're nice. super, super it's close. looking good. One more, I'll do this one one at a time. Oh. Careful. And then here, remember how I said you can split pieces apart if you don't have them exactly? Here's two, because two, one and one can make two. And just like that, you just created your very first Lego heart. Yay! Maybe your very first Lego heart. This is one of my first Lego hearts. It only took me all morning and afternoon to make, but here we are and uh, complete. So the next thing we're gonna do is make a um, another one, a, a, not another one, sorry. We're gonna make a scale. And we're gonna be right back with you because we need to set that up and uh, don't go anywhere. Bye. Hi, welcome back to Engineering Lego Building with Mr. Lucian. I forgot to introduce myself in the first half of the video. 
videos. So uh, we are back because we're going to build a, uh, a second awesome um, Lego project. And we already did the, the heart. Hopefully you've done that. Um, and now we're going to build a scale so we can weigh uh, different things and see um, what that means with Legos. Here are the pieces you're going to need. I've pre-assembled some pieces because I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes. <laughs> but uh, we need a base. And then we have the tower that gets taller and taller and skinnier and skinnier. And then we have the, the long uh, seesaw, if you will, and then the two baskets that are going to go on either end of that seesaw. And then we're going to measure some items to see um, what that means. So first, get your base. Here's your base. It could be as small as this, by the way. The bigger the base, the more stable it's going to be. And let's start building the tower, the, the tower for the scale. So center your pieces. And that's a tw that's a 12 length in case you're wondering. This is eight across, sorry, 10. And then this is eight across. And then we have a six across. I don't know if any of this matters, but I'm just gonna keep talking. <laughs> and then we have a bunch of fours. See how I have all these fours or two and two, because two plus two equals four still. And here we go. This is the easy part. So let's just turbo forward. Sorry. You're okay. All the way. So this is the middle of the scale. This is the middle of the scale for fun. I'm gonna put these guys. Nice. Here. This is what the scale is gonna balance on. Technical terms, the top will be the fulcrum. Whoa. Yeah. That's a big kryptonite word. It is. Two syllables. Fulcrum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, uh, okay, I'm gonna slow my roll a little bit. Um, this is what I recommend using for that fulcrum part. So you can usually find it for cars or, you know, there's wheels here. Pop those wheels off. Don't ruin your brother or your sister's creations. Ask them first, please. And um, see how these things are, are sticking out? Well then, find something. This is going to be maybe the hardest part for you. It's something that has a hole like this that's going to fit into there. Maybe you have a big one like this. Who knows? Maybe you have bigger one or ooh, look at that these are all acceptable Whoa. options I'm gonna go with the smallest one because I think these are the most common for people to have stick it on it should spin around like that that's nice cool. Put this one on this side cool that should spin around great let's make the seesaw part here's the final of one side of the bucket here's what it looks like exploded. We're just gonna assemble it like you see it. Two. So it's a square exactly. with four sides. A square, if you happen to have a square, great. If you have one that's a rectangle, no problem. These go on. Nice. There. These go on there. Cool. This is good. Um, here I've got Sorry, I didn't break these up. You see, I've got a longer one and two shorter ones. So, um, this is what I'm going to do. And now you connect those buckets. Connect these buckets. Great. The only reason for these is just to reinforce them so they don't break out of themselves. Sorry, if you don't do that, this is what's going to happen. Look, it's just going to come right off. So we're reinforcing this piece here. All right. Beautiful. Now you've got to kind of, the key here is to put it centered. You want to center it on both sides. So, um, because if you don't center it, then it's going to be it's not going to weigh correctly. It's not going to balance. You know that it's centered if you hold it in the middle and it pretty much stays, pretty much stays even. It's not going to be perfect because it's Legos. But look at that. That's not moving. That's pretty good. Cool. Now look what you can do. Miss um, Walsh, you want to zoom out a little bit? What if you have two oranges? Look, two oranges, they look about the same size. I wonder which one weighs more. I can't really tell. It's hard to tell. Let's, let's weigh them. Let's weigh them. Scale. Well, when you weigh something, put 
and on either side, hold it gently, release, and whichever side goes down is the heavier side. Wow, now we know that this orange is heavier than that orange. Um, what's something else? Fireballs, you guys ever had fireballs? Those are my favorite candy! Bugs loves them. I wonder how much they weigh. Let's put them on this side. So two fireballs on one side. Two fireballs on the one side. And look what I brought with me. You guys recognize these? Quarters and pennies. Yeah. Double points if you know exactly how much that is worth. All right, well, let's see. Two fireballs. Does, is it heavier than a quarter? Yep. Two Ooh. fireballs heavier than a quarter. Heavier than two quarters? Yep, still falling in that direction. What about three quarters? <gasps> No, nope. oh, nope. switch sides. They are not heavier than, than three quarters. They are heavier than two quarters. Interesting information. What about pennies? Just out of curiosity, definitely heavier than two pennies. Three, yep, keep going. Four, Four. Mm -hmm. five. five. Oh, whoa. Looks I like think they're almost exactly the same weight as five pennies. Wow. Did I say five? I said five. Yeah. Because if I put six, Whoa, Whoa that twip, that tipped over to this. It did, it twipped over and it is um, five pennies heavy. So that's interesting information to know. Five pennies or two quarters is what Miss Walsh's fireballs are equal to. Now, what can you do? You can do anything else that uh, you won't break the scale. Maybe goldfish, maybe Skittles. Cheerios. Cheerios are a good idea. How many Cheerios? Um, does two pennies um, equal? I don't know. Try it out. Let us know. But that's our engineering um, video for today. Join us tomorrow for a read aloud. <laughs> well, we are going to read aloud this Night of the Veggie Monster <gasps> by George McClements. Whoa. I only recently got to read this. I'm super excited to read it to you guys. So join us tomorrow. Thanks. Bye, friends. Bye, friends.